What the heck is the fourth dimension? Is it space-time? Well, it could be, but we're not discussing that today. That brings us to the question, what kind of fourth dimension are we discussing today? To get a clarity on that, let's go a dimension lower. What exactly is the third dimension? A 3D space is a mathematical space that needs three axes to determine position of a point. In our case, we have three axes X, Y, and Z. All of these axes are perpendicular to each other. But what if we had another axis that's perpendicular to all of these axes? Let's call it W. This mathematical space having four axes constitutes the 4D spatial coordinates. Let's try to get an understanding of what the fourth dimension actually is. We'll be visualizing 4D in a 3D space. Again, let's get to lower dimension equivalents to get an understanding of it. Imagine a bunch of two-dimensional shapes going through a one-dimensional line segment. What does someone see from the perspective of the line? So someone sitting in the 1D world would just see some lines of different colors changing scale, translating, appearing and disappearing, changing colors etc. while the ground truth is just some 2D shapes moving through the line. What about rotating 2D shapes though? This is the 2D rotation matrix responsible for rotating 2D shapes along its plane. Its derivation is pretty simple, but let's not go into the gory details now. Let's visualize it. For a 2D object rotation is pretty simple as we just have one plane to rotate along. But again these rotating shapes in the 1D world would appear to be some lines having the same shape shifting effects as before. Lastly let's visualize some 2D shapes with physics and again the shape shifting effects are back in the 1D world. Now that we have some understanding of a 2D object in a 1D world let's go a dimension up and see what 3D objects look like in a 2D world. These are some 3D objects moving through a 2D plane. A person in the 2D world would again see these 3D objects as some shape-shifting 2D objects, whereas it's just a 3D object moving through the plane. Let's talk about rotation. These are the 3D rotation matrices responsible for rotating the 3D shapes along the three perpendicular planes. Rotation along XY and XZ plane again produces a shape-shifting effect for the shapes in the 2D world, while rotation along YZ plane does not. It's because the YZ plane is simply along the plane of the 2D world. Add some real-life physics, and the shape-shifting effects are back. With all this in mind, we're ready to understand how a 4D object can be visualized. Does this look like a sphere that is scaling up and down to you? Well, there is a lot more happening in this shape than first meets the eye. Remember the shape-shifting effects we saw earlier? This sphere is traveling across the 3D space in the fourth dimension. This is analogous to the 2D objects traveling across 1D lines and 3D objects across 2D planes, producing a shape-shifting effect. This effect becomes more apparent if we take a 4D cube, popularly known as a tesseract, and shift it across the 3D space in the fourth dimension. Here are more shapes moving in the fourth dimension, the sphere obviously being the least interesting. What about 4D rotation? We have four axes in total now, and two axes for each plane, thus four combinations of two that is six possible combinations of rotation matrices. The upper matrices here denote simple 3D XYZ rotation, while the lower matrices represent rotation along a plane in W. Since we have so many matrices, let's analyze how they work. If you pay close attention to each of the matrices, you'll notice that the plane that each matrix is responsible for rotation around have the same elements as the 2D rotation matrix along both columns and rows. For instance, for XC rotation, we have the elements in the first and second row and column. While the remaining two axes simply have one along the element at its corresponding place. This indicates that the rotation is only happening along that particular plane, while other axes don't contribute to the rotation. Again, let's visualize this rotation. The planes not having the W component produce simple 3D rotations as we discussed earlier, while the ones having the W component show shape-shifting effects as the objects are rotating in a plane that's in a different dimension. Similarly for physics, we can see a clip from the game 4D toys here. As we can see here, the 4D and hypersphere appear to be floating above the 4D plane. Whereas the ground truth is that they have just moved into the fourth dimension and are still colliding with it in the fourth dimension. 
All of these 2D, 3D, and 4D objects were rendered using my 4D engine in Unity. Here's a small glimpse of the engine that I've made. It allows you to add over 20 types of 4D shapes into the scene, control their dimensions, their 3D rotation, translation, as well as their color. Thanks to the wonderful tutorials by PeerPlay on YouTube. It supports lighting information, ambient occlusion, as well as hard and soft shadows. You can see how changing the 4D position and rotation of the world affects the object as well as changing the individual 4D position and rotation of the objects. To demonstrate the power of the engine, I even made a 4D Pac-Man game using it for one of the recent game jams that I participated in. Feel free to try the engine in Unity and play the 4D Pac-Man game by scanning the QR code on the screen.